Hey everybody, welcome to my haul video. It is Thursday. Hang on. It is Thursday and I have found some garage sales today. So the neighboring town, they have to have um they have to register their garage sales. And so if you sign up through their the town's website, you can get an email of all of the people that are going to have garage sales and if they start on Thursday or Friday or Saturday and their street and their neighborhood and all of that so I saw that there were a few nearby and so I said oh you know what let's do this today and so I did and yeah <laughs> let me say hey in the chat and then I'll continue on uh, so hi Henry how's it going hi Melissa hi Caroline is there hi Caroline hello Twiggy and Paula and Dr. Doodle Doo um, yeah, so I felt okay buying more stuff. <laughs> I have reasons. So I haven't been listing, but that's okay. But here's the thing. I talked yesterday to Glenn Zubia and Mike Peterson who are doing merch. As you know, I've been really like focusing on merch really hard and trying to get my 30 shirts up a day and it's been driving me nuts because I can't do anything else at all. <laughs> So even when I'm done with my shirts for the day, like after the kids go to bed, I'm trying to like get a head start on the next day's shirts. So I talked to both of them and they're, you know, well above, they're on like 4,000 or 6,000 tier and can upload like a hundred shirts a day. And both of them said no. Cause I, I was seeing their videos, like Glenn is Hustler Hacks, Mike is Treasure Gnome, and they're still putting out like their eBay videos. I'm like, how are you managing this? <laughs> I can't do it, right? And so they said no. No, 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 no. I think Glenn said he tries to do about like 50 or 100, rather 100 shirts a week rather than, because for me that would be like three days, 120, right? Four days. So that made me feel a lot better. <sighs> you know, deep breaths. And these guys are still pulling in like $5,000 a month. So it'll be okay, Margaret. It'll be okay. So anyway, that, uh, that kind of helped me out a little bit and made me feel better about buying some stuff. Like I need a reason, right? Okay, so in the chat, um, hey, Julie, Thrifty Paper Gardens there. Hi, Sherry Duke. And let's see, Sher oh, Julie says it's raining here. Can't be out garage selling. Oh, I'm gonna, I spent all my money today. So I'm gonna have to get some more money for the Friday garage sales. <laughs> and then let's see, Rip and Reseller. Hi, Colleen, Crafty Reseller Rita. And Melissa says, has anybody been able to catch a live show right from the beginning? The feed never starts right when Margaret goes live on my find. Oh, I don't know. Hi, Better Barbie, and hello, Reverend Michelle. Okay, so I spent $23. The first garage sale, I spent five bucks. The second garage sale, I spent $18.50. And they had a lot more stuff that I would, wanted to buy, but the funny thing was when I checked out, I was like, let me check out, and then if I have any more money, I'm gonna get that and that other thing, right? I had exactly enough money, like in the, like $18, and then I had some change for 50 cents. I was like, you're kidding me, okay. And, okay, so they were giving away free goodie bags. Come on, like, here you go, here's your, your goodie bag to go, you know. Like, so they, these sellers were motivated, right? This is an older couple, they're downsizing, they're moving to Hot Springs, Arkansas, and they are hiring a moving company that's charging them a dollar a pound to move their stuff. So they were extremely motivated to sell everything. And they had a giant, like, you know, some places have like a free box. They had like a big, big area of like free stuff, right? Yeah. So um, I might go back. <laughs> we'll see. But they had a ton of like outdoor decor and stuff. So I got, um, I got for my sister. I'm gonna screen share it because it's still in the car. For my sister, I picked up this because she's out in the country. Can you see that? Is it screen sharing good? Um, this is like about three feet long. Cause look, here's a growler and that growler, or maybe it's about two feet long. It's about two and a half, three feet long. Cause this growler is about a foot, right? There's a yardstick behind it. <laughs> um, so it's this bunny and it was a quarter. I don't know if you can see that. So this was a quarter and it's real distressed and grody cause it was outside. But I thought, oh, she could put that up on her porch, you know, and it's already got that cool look to it. We'll see if she wants it. If not, I'll put it on my fence out back. But it was like that, like prices for things like that for like a quarter, you know? And there was this really cool, like, gnome thing but like almost like a green man if you know what a green man is but he was more like a gnome green man and he had like a little candle holder thing on and your mouth to mouth they wanted five bucks for him he was the one that i was like well if i sell money i'll get him and then there was this other metal big metal like wall that you'd stick on the fence or something it was really cool texas jackrabbit that's right that's right oh my gosh so i got i got some stuff 
some good stuff for some good prices. Um, hi, Lynn. Uh, Hank Allen Cash. Shoot, I done went and bought some more stuff today. Lord knows I don't need more stuff. It's all right. <laughs> Are you making fun of my accent? Is that how you talk? <laughs> if you if you make fun of me too hard, I'll make it thicker and I'll go. I could go countryer in like deep country, or I could go a southern lady. You know where it's like I'm a Alabama, maybe Georgia, or we can go like backwoods Texas, and we could talk about how we, we gotta get those armadillos, and those raccoons off the back porch. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Watch out. <laughs> Choose your southern accent well. Anyway, moving on. Uh, yeah, motivated sellers totally going, yeah, I think I should go back. And I get to really talking with them because they're moving to Hot Springs and we're talking about taking a, a road trip. I know I'm doing a haul video, but hey, we're talking about doing a road trip this summer um, up to Hot Springs because there is a lot of geology like stops along the way and there's actually a diamond mine like where you can go like mining for diamonds. <laughs> I think the kids would love that, right? Hank Allen says, no, that's how I talk. Okay, okay. <laughs> if you make fun of me, I'll bring it out. I can bring it out or or I can talk it down to you like so. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I have a good friend in Abilene that talks like that. Yeah, yeah, it's out there. Uh, Grandpa's Trading Co. Hey, can you please post a link in the comments to the seller page who has info about reading glasses? Oh, oh, that's Dorky Thrifters. That's Becky over at the Dorky Thrifters. Yeah, she has good info. Um, Jenny says, OMG, get the massage packages hot springs at the downtown, old downtown hotel. Okay. Um, <laughs> Melissa says, what are you doing here? Not still there. I ran out of money. I got really good stuff, though. I got really good stuff. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll do this last. Um, so the first garage sale I went to, we're going to save the, that one. Hi, Nancy. Oh, I'm doing well. Thank you so much. DeLong, DeLong, Ega, Georgia has some great mining opportunities too. I'm sure I'm saying that name wrong. That looks really Irish, like a really Irish name. Okay, so first thing, all I wanted was this, like, but she made me take the whole basket full of sewing stuff. But this was a quarter, um, and it's a simplicity, like fairy pattern costume. It's still uncut. Uh, and it's going, I'll probably, okay, eBay prices and Etsy prices are totally different on this one. eBay prices are just a couple bucks. Etsy prices are more like 15 bucks. Uh, so I'm going with my Etsy prices on this. And let me tell you, I just sold a simplicity pattern for like Elizabethan dresses uh, for $40. So I always like to look at the costume patterns, especially like cosplay and things like that. <laughs> Julie says, beware the goodie bag. <laughs> What's in there? Okay, so there's that. Yes, go give a thumbs up. Thanks, Nancy. Um, and then I also picked up, this was $2. And it's from Anthropology, which you know is expensive. So it's this really cute necklace. It's got these little charmy things on the back. And then it's got this, what would you say that is? Like a calla lily maybe? Let's see. What do you think? It's some kind of lily maybe? Tell me what you think because I'll need to know when I list it. So there's that cute necklace. And this says David Aubrey is the brand name, David Aubrey. So I figured, you know, I can get more than two bucks for that. Some people go nuts for that anthropology stuff. How'd it do, Angie? How'd it do, girl? How are you today? <laughs> um, rope and reseller, would you say Etsy does better for patterns? Just picked up a box of vintage patterns. Yeah, if you can wait. And generally, like, I, I generally will just pick up, you know, like costumes if they're uncut or um, like vintage, like cool vintage ones. Because most of the other ones, I sell every now and then, but man, they sit. Goodie bag equals dentures, you think? It smells like soap, so you might be right. <laughs> okay, and then next up, I got a sealed Bulgari, and this is the green tea flavor, but this is not the um, perfume. It's the um, gel shampoo and shower gel, shampoo and shower gel. So that's pretty cool. If I don't keep it, I'm going to sell it. And I didn't, I didn't look everything up, so I looked up a few things. But I saw Bulgari, I saw sealed, I saw $2. I was like, yes. So yeah, that is cool, right? I think. So I will have to look that one up. I didn't look up everything. I just didn't, right? Um, let's see. Rose says, I don't know why there's only 11 likes. I don't either. What's the matter with you guys? No, that's mean. You guys are great. You're awesome. <laughs> uh, let's see. Goodie bag dentures. What else am I missing? Heather says, late to the party. We just got started. I only showed like three things so far. Um, and 
I find that pattern size has a lot to do how well it sells, Julie says. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, th that's true because, yeah, if they're smaller sizes, I'm guessing they don't do quite as well. So if you watched last night my Target haul, and it was talking about going back to get another slinky for my nephew, and they had one. It's kind of, The box is kind of crushed, but that was a quarter. Anyway, and then they also I got the Tiny Testament, right? It's super cute. It's like a little, look, a little teeny holy Bible. Right? That's so cute. Somebody might want it for their like first communion or things like that. Christenings, baptisms. There we go. Whoops. So there's that teeny testament. Again, I didn't look that up either, but I generally like to pick up um my brain just went Bibles and things. Yeah. Um, let's see. Hello, Rose. Okay. And Neville, hello. Does vintage wedding wrapping paper sell well? I sell it. I've sold some. I mean, with the, with any wrapping paper, though, you, I mean, it, you, you're going to sit for a bit on it. Um, but it's worth it when you get the right buyer. And it doesn't, I mean, it's like this big, right? So I would put a good price on it and wait. And then the rest of this stuff was just like the rest. I know it says two bucks, but she gave it all to me for a quarter because she was just trying to get rid of it. But it's, I mean, I'll probably just donate. It's this stuff. Let's see what else is in there. I didn't even look in there. There's some, like, Camo fabric. Eh. Oh, there's some kitty fabric. That's kind of cute. Some kitty, just scraps, you know. What else we got in there? Patches, sort of half used. Snaps. What else we got? Some one side of the Velcro. Does it have the other side? No. This is just the, oh, it says hook and loop. Where's the other side of it? Oh, this does, okay, I can use this. Okay, I thought it was just this part of the Velcro, like the fuzzy side, and you had to get the other side separate. No, but it has the hooks. So that's cool. We can use that. We we'll use that around here. Now, what is this? No heat, no stitch sewing glue. Maybe my boys can use that. That'd be kind of fun. <laughs> or disastrous, one or the other. And then a little bit of ribbon. I guess some of it's kind of fun, right? This was all thrown in extra. And some needles. You can always use needles. Okay, some are our project for the kids, Melissa says. Okay, I'm looking here. Do, 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 do. Oh, they're talking about middle names. There we go. Donna says, hi there from Catskill Mountains. Oh, Chantel, hello, hello. Who else? We just got started. I chit-chatted for a little while. I'm reaching around here to try to put this stuff back in this basket. Okay, now, and I'm going back through the chat before I jump on. I'd wear it to show the bond with my, okay, okay. There we go. They're talking about something else. So I don't have to read that. Okay, here we go. Okay. All right. Okay. So now for the other bit of the haul. Now let's just say I started doing a um, ride along like day in the life today, but I probably won't up upload it because I, I gave up. But I was driving to find this garage sale and the, the sign on the main street was there. But then it was that same neighborhood I always get lost in. I call it the Bermuda Triangle because the signs are so, like, never, I don't know what it is about people in that neighborhood that don't put their signs out. So I'm driving around. I can't find it. And so I go back because I know I have the address from the email that I got from the city, right? So I go back, look, and then, again, I turn back around and go, there's no sign turning onto their street, but they, it's like they saved all the signs for their yard. <laughs> so if you, if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you've seen this already, but I'm going to go ahead and share it. So this was their yard. I'm making fun, but, the, but I really enjoyed this, this garage sale, and the people were super nice. Come on, computer. Let's see. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to share it here. Where's the picture? Maybe I can share the picture first. So this is the picture of the garage sale. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Those are five signs that you can see with your eyes. And then let's see if we can get the video to play because I walked up. <laughs> and there were more signs back up here. Like, oh, I think I found it. <laughs> There's the garage sale. <laughs> yep. Pretty funny, funny stuff. Okay, stuff that. But it, it was really, it was really good. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Jenny says I saw that. Okay, so from their garage sale, I spent eighteen dollars and fifty cents, and I got so this was fifty cents, and it's like this little cloisonne sort of style. I don't think this is exactly cloisonne. Maybe. It, because the gold parts are raised up more. I think there might be another name for this. But it, look, at it's got little pears on it. Maybe it's a partridge. A partridge in a pear tree. That would make sense, right? Okay, good job, Margaret. You figured it out. 
Okay, so this, I'm guessing it'll be about 15 bucks, right? <laughs> Rose says, oh, I want that. Yeah, was there actually stuff there? It all, it all looked like signs. And normally when there's crazy signs like that, it's garbage, right? That's what I find. But they had really good stuff. They really did. Um, they must have been too tired from setting it all up to take the signs around the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, I got some good stuff. Okay, sweet. Okay, this rose, I'll set it to the side for you. That, if that's what you're talking about, I'll put it over there. That's for you. Okay, then, no, you don't have to buy it. Come on, Rose. You send me jewelry all the time. I think I could send you a bird. It's cool. <laughs> it's still not even, though, right? Because you send me tons of jewelry and things. <laughs> all right, so next up, because you know I like rocks and minerals and stuff, I picked this up for 25 cents. British Columbia Jade. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I don't really know that it's worth anything, but I always pick up rocks and minerals. So we'll see. If it doesn't go in my little shadow box thing, then I will, I don't know. Did somebody buy this? I looked it up, but I didn't see a whole lot about British Columbia Jade. So that'll probably just go with my rocks and minerals. We'll see. Okay, so she's waiting for her hubby to come home and set out the signs, maybe. Okay, then I also got this, and they traveled a lot. I'm sorry, my nose itches. I keep itching my nose. It's all the dust. Um, they traveled, so they had stories with all this stuff. They got this in Canada, they told me. So this came from Canada. This, like, wood, owl, and then this is the stand for it, but it comes off the stand. So it's like, I guess it's an owl, right? Pretty cool. And that was a dollar. Let's see. British Columbia Jade may some, someday may be worth a bit. Oh, okay. Um, Defra Cat, you have them for when one of the boys has to do rock mineral projects for science. That's true. That's true. Okay. So there's that. Isn't it cool? That's really cool. I think it's a totem, Ginny says. I wonder. Well, they said it was from Canada. So that's true. It could be. Hmm. Because they do have natives up there. Natives. Oh, do you notice I'm not in my workroom right now because I still have a mess from yesterday. Uh, that's a bad sign. Okay, so then also, in the same vein as that little partridge, there's this little, look, it's got a handle, and it's got a lid for it, like so, and then this was 50 cents. Talk about, talk about a good deal, right? So this was 50 cents. Melissa says we're running out of the high-quality Asian jade. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay, so there's this. Again, I don't really, there's grapes on this side, and it looks like, Peaches, maybe? Pears, peaches. Pretty cool. I like that. So, and again, I didn't look up everything, so I have no idea what that's going to be um, worth. And then, yeah, the prices were amazing. They were, like, wanting the stuff gone. Um, I got a deck of cards. He said he got in Thailand. This is the pattern on them, 25 cents. So, and also, this is a Christian... Audier perfume for 25 cents and it's probably maybe 10 bucks. It's not a lot. I did look this one up So it's not a huge seller, but that's okay. I mean from a quarter to 10 bucks I'm happy with that, right? So what else have we got here? I got some earrings Which also I think they got in Canada and I'll tell you why so this is the front They're kind of marbled white and blue, but then the back if you look they're on a Canadian penny. So I was like, okay, these were a quarter. I think I could spring a quarter for them. That's cute. Put those over there. Got some more earrings. Probably also, they probably got these in Canada. They're little maple leaves. These were a quarter as well. Hi, Angie. So those are cute. They're gold tone. They're not really gold. I didn't even bother checking because I could see the green in there. <laughs> so enamel. Yeah, yeah. Us Canadians are resourceful, <laughs> Shelly says. Okay, and then, these are super cute, too. These are best brand. Um, didn't they get rid of the penny up there? Did they, Heather? Oh, that's a good question. If you're Canadian, do you guys still have a penny? So here we've got some giraffe earrings. And the heads are like gold tone. Oh, Melissa says, save those. We eliminated our pennies. Okay, cool. Awesome. So there's these um, giraffe earrings, pretty cool. Oh, good, good. I wonder if we'll ever do that, because, I don't know. Hi, oh, I already said hi, Angie. Hi, Angie. And then we have these little copper studs, which are super cute as well. And these have all, I think the, I think the giraffes were 50 cents, 
And then these were a quarter, like that. And where'd that other thing go? Oh, there it is, there it is. <laughs> hey, I think I recognize those you have on. Were they from a jewelry jar? No, these ones are ones that Randy got me a few years back. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I know, Nadine, Nadine want wood. I'll ask her if she likes them. I, w I wonder if she would wear them or if, because it's like, there, th there are things I like, but I wouldn't wear it. I'll, I'll put them to the side, too, and I'll ask her. Because to me, I'm like, yeah, if i got a friend, it's nice to know when you've got friends like stuff, then you can pick stuff up for them. Yeah, right? That's fun. Okay, so I picked up a Timex Indigo watch. And, and the reason, I don't, again, I didn't look it up. The reason I picked it up, though, um, is because, remember, if you're old enough to remember when Indigo like, first came out and it was like a big deal, I think it was in junior high or high school, and I remember the Indiglo watch that I got, and it looked almost just like this. It was a Timex, and then you could like push the button, and it would glow. The whole the whole thing would glow like blue green. It wasn't just like a little dinky light that shot out the side, you know. Um, and so this just really reminded me of that watch. I was like, I think I need this watch um, because of that. So I have no idea if it's worth anything. It is working now. Yeah. So cool. Um, all right, now listen to it. So, yeah, they don't look like her style, but I'll still ask her. Timex still makes those, do they? I'm such a nerd about it. So this was, I think this was in the 50 cent box. So there was only, there was like one piece of jewelry they had that was five bucks that I didn't get. And they were some kind of like little marble stud earrings, but I didn't, I didn't get them. Okay, then this was a quarter. Um, we're always looking for pen knives because our guys, you know, our scouts are always training. We're training them. But this one's got, look, it's got scissors. That's good. It's got a file. I didn't even look. Maybe it doesn't have a knife on it. Oh, it does. And then it's got a little teeny knife. So I'm always trying to train them with knife skills. And look, oh, this is my favorite. Because my, I carry a Swiss Army knife, but I have a big one um, that I carry in my purse. <laughs> but I love it because it has the toothpick and the tweezers, which I use. So this one has the toothpick and tweezers as well, which is awesome. Yeah. So there's that. That was a quarter. So that's going in our scout box. Yes, the toothpick. See, yeah. Is that a question mark? Yeah. See, it's got a toothpick in there. Watch. Ta da! No, or pick your teeth. <laughs> like so. Yeah. Oh, Jenny says, I have Timex watches in about every color. I still wear watches. Okay, here we go. This is true. She could sell them. Defra Cat says, Scout family there too. All right. So next up. I picked up this, um, it's either a ray or a skate, one or the other, and this was 50 cents, and it's made out of some white, I don't know, it might be onyx, but it might be something else. So there's that, and it's a magnet, it's got a magnet on the back, but I'd be afraid that it would break if I put it on my refrigerator. So that was 50 cents, pretty cool, pretty cool. And then I got this teeny little bear, <laughs> Heather says I carry a big one too. This little bear was 25 cents and I'm not exactly sure what he is made of. So he's a darker green like generally I like he's not I don't think he's malachite. He's not the right color green to be malachite. He doesn't have the stripes or anything. So the crazy car says I stepped on a real one of those before. Hmm. So there's those. Little bear, BC. You think it's a British Columbia jade as well? That's true. That would make sense because I have that other one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Sherlock Holmes in the house. <laughs> there we go. I bet you're right. Maybe he goes on there. Maybe he's a twofer, right? There we go. Could be diopside. I agree, jade from Canada or Alaska. Okay, okay. It would make, it would make sense, yeah. There. Crazy car says this. Oh, you stepped on a stingray. Oh, ow. Or was it just scary? Because it was like, what is that under me? Ah, right. Okay, now this one is malachite. So this was a dollar. Big spender. And it's a little hippo, a malachite hippo. So I looked at these up, and for about for this size, they're going for about 20 or 30 bucks. So I saw some bigger ones that were like five inches or so long that were going for more like 50 to 70. So this one is malachite. Yeah. Oh, the bear's supposed to be on the base. That makes sense, right? They sold it to me separately. They ripped me off. 
<laughs> for 50 cents. <laughs> okay, so hippo, super cute. There we go. So that'll bring a good profit. Yeah, I was telling my mom, like, yeah, I'll probably make my money back just on this, right, from everything. So, okay. Whoops, I'm trying to get some water. Oh, felt like stepping on liver. How do you know what stepping on liver is? <laughs> How do you know what stepping on liver feels like? <laughs> no. <laughs> Everybody's got hobbies. Well, no judgment. You pay twice for one thing. But it was like a quarter. I don't know, we're good. Um, my sister, how's your sister now? Can you phone her? She's good. No, no, I'm not going to call her now. She's probably out doing something. Um, this month's issue of Martha Stewart Living has a page of those little holders. Which holders? You'll have to tell me which holders. Now I'm confused. Uh, you tell me. Okay, so next I, ha I got this for a dollar. And in this was this angel. And this can be worn as a pendant or a brooch. And also these earrings. The elephant. I don't have an elephant. I have that. The hippo? I have a page of, okay, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, then, so it may be, the funny thing is when I sometimes don't know things and I go back and watch later, it's like super obvious. Like, where was my brain, right? Okay, and then there are these little earrings that go with, right? Cute. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> So there are this set was a dollar. So uh, and I've sold an angel kind of similar to this before. I can't remember for how much though off the top of my head. So there's were those things. There's still but wait, there's more. For a dollar, I got some little Amish pewter figures. Is it handmade? Probably. It looks it. These ones, they do look like they're handmade. You can see where they're kind of tacked together. I'm hearing a weird noise, but I think it's from outside. Okay, so these are from the pewter shop. And look, my sister just called. <laughs> Isn't that funny? She should know. Okay, so there these this was in there, the one with the no face. There's a little fella. And it has a pewter shop sticker on the bottom. And then there is a I guess a dad and a mom. Why do the guys get faces? But the ladies don't. So it says Amish on there. There's a dude. And then there's a lady, but she doesn't have a face. The little girl didn't have a face either. Why do the boys get faces, but the girls don't? Hmm. So that is a curious question. Is it to protect them? But no. <laughs> I don't get that. Anyway, maybe they're ashamed. <laughs> yeah, girl, you need a washing machine. It's just saying. No. <laughs> So those were a dollar, and again, I didn't know how much. I never I didn't notice about their faces till just now. Um, then I got some more pewter figures, also for a dollar. Um, I just figured somebody would want them, right? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> okay, so we got a little bunny. Look how cute. He kind of looks like Thumper. He looks like he's hollering. Hello. Hello. I'm calling to you. Uh, I'm looking for any marks. No, no little marks on him, but he's super cute. <laughs> And then we have another little giraffe, right? Isn't that cute? And maybe I'll send that to Nadine. And then we have a little shoe with some mice in it. Let's see, hold it from the back. There is that. Yep. I guess there's another one in the toe because there's like a tail poking out of the toe. Did I tell you one time when I was at my sister's house, I left my purse on the floor in the kitchen and her cats like to bring in mice. Did I tell you this story before? Um, tell me. Okay, so my <laughs> so her cats like to bring her in little presents of mice, right? Baby, little baby mice. So we are driving into town, and I am in the very back, back of the van. My dad is driving. Elaine is sitting next to him, and then the kids are like in the row for in front of me, and I have a kid in the back. I'm in the very back, and I'm reaching into my purse to get something, and my cats like to, they have these little furry cat toys, and I was feeling a furry like cat toy in my purse. I'm like, oh, I guess the cats dropped a cat toy in my purse. That's weird. So I looked down into my hand, like I looked down, and there's like a for real mouse <laughs> in my hand. And I was like, oh, 
Oh my gosh, there is a mouse in my purse. And I, all I could see is my dad through the rear view mirror, like his eyes, and he's just like, he's like laughing. And of, you know me, I'm like trying to get my camera out to like get a picture, um, but we end up pulling over and it jumps out before I can get a, before I can get a, uh, a, a little video clip of this mouse in my purse. But uh, yeah, I, I gave my sister, <laughs> I gave my sister the job of cleaning my purse out because she's in the mice. It was a, uh, yeah. <laughs> Heather says that's the difference between city girl and country girl. <laughs> no, I was laughing. I mean, I definitely was like, I just need to go wash my hands now because, you know, you're in the country and they, did you have Purell in your purse? I keep it in my car, but I still, you, there's, you, I still needed soap. <laughs> um, let's see. Did the horse have a face? Which horse? I didn't see a horse. Okay. Um, Patriarchy. Oh, for the guys. Yeah, and the thing. Okay, so then this, I didn't even, I didn't dig through this really. I just saw some cool pins in there, and so I was like, oh, we get that up. Uh, that was a quarter. So let's go through this. Rose says, I had one climb out my pajama pant leg once, scared the crap out of me. Yeah, the mouse was alive. Yeah, and we stopped and let him go. He ran away. It was a little baby one. She called it a hopper. Anyway, so first thing first, first thing first, first things first. Oh, in the 25 cent bag, we have an NBC Studio Tours button. We also, <laughs> of course, Melissa, the first thing I thought about was pulling out my phone camera. Yes, because you know you wanted to see that. Who did it? Who did Who didn't want to see that? I was like, they're never going to believe me. You know, they say a picture's worth a thousand words. <laughs> so, and then we have, let's see, Royal George Bridge button. Royal George Bridge. I don't know where that is. Um, and then this is a button that says Alaska... In Alaska's Inside Passage. There we go. Or a thousand screams. Yeah. Anyone know when the pewter things were a thing? I don't. And then we've got a Texas button, like there, lapel hat or lapel pin. Okay. And then this is a Denali Park Resorts. They really traveled because there's some other stuff I got. They, he was he had gone to Egypt. Mm hmm. Then we have a little red heart. Very cute. All this was for a quarter. And then we have Saxman Native Village. I wonder if this is where they got the, the owl thing. Because that's like a totem too, right? I'll have to ask Jason. Is that tiki? Maybe that's tiki. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I'm looking. Oh, hey, we've got cufflinks. So we've got some little cufflinks in here. Cool. Very nice. I like cufflinks. So for a quarter, this is already worth it. Because I know those cufflinks will go. Which I wasn't talking to Alexa. Which sister was the trouble one, Margaret? Did, well, we both went through our, our things. She stole my car once. So <laughs> we grew out of it. Uh, we've got the Hard Rock Cafe. And we've got one more in here. Let's see what it is. And another Denali. Okay. So that's a funny story too, where she stole my car. Yeah, do I have more than one sister? No, just the one, just the two, just the two of us, two sisters, two brothers. Well, there's two girls and two boys. Um, it had to do with the lack of resources after during World War II. Oh, okay. How did I get it out of the car? Well, it was in my purse. So like when I was like trying to scooch out of the car, it like jumped from my purse, like almost immediately as we got, I got to where I was going outside, and it jumped. <laughs> so I didn't get a picture. Darn it. It was funny though. Okay, and then, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, here, Angie had a cat that um, brought her dad snakes, and he hated snakes. My brothers won't garage sale with you. My brothers don't live here. I mean, well, they live in Texas, but Texas is ginormous. One lives up in Dallas, which is like four hours away or so. And the other lives more south um, in southern Texas. So then I got another one of these um, barley twist um, candle holders, like so. And if you remember, this was three bucks. I got two of these a while back, and I haven't sold them yet, nor have I listed them. But they they go with a, like a pair of them will go for over a hundred bucks. So I'm guessing one of them would go for fifty bucks. So when I saw that, I grabbed it up. Yay, barley twist. So that was three dollars. 
And then I picked up this feather quill and inkwell. And it is marked Pewter, Connecticut House, Pewters. And that was $2. Again, also did not look it up like that. Boop. Do, 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 do. Right? Scratch, scratch, scratch. But there's a, a, there's a shop in Galveston now that sells like fancy notebooks and um, feather quills and inkwells and things like that. So I think there's a resurgence and that kind of thing, you know, for fun. And then I picked up this calligraphy set as well. This was 50 cents. No Nonsense Pen by Schaefer. And it has got, hang on, it's got some different quill, like tips, nibs, I guess is what you call them. It's got different um, color inks, which are probably dried out, but, and then the pen, and then there's a little booklet to teach you how to do calligraphy. So very cool. You can get refills at like Staples or Home Depot or whatever. So there's that. That was 50 cents and also something I did not look up. And we've got three more things, two of which I did look up. Good job, Margaret. All right. And then I got a spoon for a dollar. And now whether it's silver or silver plate, I'm not sure. I'm looking at it. It says Benedict MFB, I think is what that says. So it might be silver. might be silver plate. Um, but I'm not familiar with that brand, Benedict. So we'll see. And I can't, I don't have my loop with me either to get a closer look. So there's that. Do you look things up while you're there at the garage sale? Not usually. Hey, Darrell. <laughs> um, not usually, unless it's kind of crowded and then people won't notice that I'm looking things up. Every now and then I'll look something up if I'm not sure. But when the prices are like a dollar, 25 cents, yeah. Wouldn't it, Jenny? And my sister, my sister um, collects these to make wind chimes from, but this one's really pretty. I don't know. <laughs> okay, and then this is one. He said he actually got it in Egypt. He sold it to me for 50 cents, and it's a little sphinx model of the sphinx, like so. Pretty cool. So he said he was able to, he had gone to Egypt three or four times and had actually gone to the pyramids and everything. So that's pretty cool. And then finally... I got this owl pitcher, this green owl pitcher for, what is that, $2? $2, and I looked it up and I see some going for between 20 and 30 bucks. So there's that, pretty cool. And they had some other green like Vaseline glass and some uranium glass, if you know what I'm talking about. The uranium glass is a bit different. It's got the uranium in it. And if you put it under a black light, it, um, it glows. So yeah, but I didn't get any of that because I have some in my workroom that I have not listed yet. So, oh, don't forget, Margaret, we have a goodie bag. I thought we were done. Okay, and they, they stapled a thing on here because I guess they're going to have another garage sale in June. Yes, I like this. The next moving garage sale is on June 22nd, 23rd, 24th. Too many items to be included at the May garage sale. Hope to see you in June. I'll be there. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to mark my calendar, too. Awesome garage sale. Ominous goodie bag. It's... It smells like soap. I'm not joking. I bet there's soap in there. What is it? What is it? But how thoughtful of them, right? I was right. It's, there's some soap. We've got a bar of Neutrogena soap, hopefully unused. We've got, <laughs> we have got some Neutrogena body oils. I guess this is from their, their travels. Some are half used. <laughs> It was so fun though, right? And then one more thing. We've got a sleep tight for a better night. What is this? It's a spray maybe? So this is some aromatherapy stuff. Like that. Yep. Hotel soap. <laughs> uh, and this is some kind of quietude spray. Anyway, so that was fun. Could have been worse in the goodie bag. This is, I mean, yeah. I wonder if the soap is used. I'm going to find out. Fancy. No, nope, the soap looks unused. So. <laughs> but the shampoo, was it the shampoo? No, the shampoo looks full. The conditioner's full. One of them looked like it had been used some. Lotion is full. Oh, maybe not. Maybe they're not used. That one looks maybe like it was used a little bit. Or no, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, cool. Hey. There we go. <laughs> they probably have a ton of extras. Yeah. Yep. So, 
cool stuff. Is that it? I'm double checking. Yep, that's it. And today's just Thursday. So check back with me tomorrow because I'm sure I'll be out tomorrow looking at some garage, garage sales. Quietude spray, try it on the trolls. Yeah. Um, okay. All right. So that is it for the haul. Take it camping. That's true. That's true. All right. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out for the haul video today. And I got some pretty good stuff and I'm excited that I've, I'm going to start listing them. Yeah. Um, so awesome. Again, thanks again, guys, for coming over. Go ever and hit the thumbs up button. Chantel says, have you done a garage sale tips video? I haven't. That's a good idea. I don't think I have, but I should, right? Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, gosh, I forgot what I was going to say now again. I don't remember. Oh, if you're interested, if you're watching this later and you're like, oh, I never catch you live, there's a little bell next to the subscribe button on my main page. So hit the little bell and you'll get notified when I put up new videos or when I go live. So I hope to see you in the chat sometime. Again, go over there and hit the thumbs up, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.